Now suppose the question is log x base 10 square plus log x square base 10 and this equals to log 2 base 10 whole square minus 1. Now clearly the domain of this function is x is greater than 0. So I can write it as log x base 10 whole square plus 2 log mod x base 10 and I can take this one here so plus 1 and this is log 2 base 10 whole square. Now when x is greater than 0 mod x is simply x so I can write it as log x base 10 whole square 2 log x base 10 plus 1 and this is log 2 base 10 whole square now this is a square plus b square plus 2ab so I can write it as log x base 10 plus 1 whole square and this is equals to log 10 base 2 square now I can simplify it so I can write log x base 10 plus 1 log x base 10 plus 1 is equal to plus or minus log 10 base now I can simplify it I can write it as log x base 10 plus 1 is equal to plus or minus log 2 base 10 now if I take plus sign I can write it as log x base 10 and plus log 10 base 10 and this is log 10 base 2 so I can write it as log So if I take plus sign, I can write it as log x base 10 plus log 10 base 10 and this is log 2 base 10. So this is log 10x is equal to log 2. So if I cancel log with log, I'll get the value of x as 1 by 5. Now if I take minus sign, I can write it as log x base 10 plus log 10 base 10 and minus log 2 base 10 so I'll write this is log 10x and I can take this minus 1 to the power of 2 so I can write this log 2 to the power minus 1 so I can write this 10x is equal to 1 by 2 then x is 1 upon 20 so the number of solution to this equation is 2 so either the value of x is 1 by 5 or the value of x is 1 by 20.